Well, what do you say we demold these blocks and see how they look? This is about 25 minutes later. Uh, this extra that pops off of here, I've got a trash can that's right down under me, so I'm just dropping that into the trash can below. So just break that stuff off the outside edge. And I'm just going to set these, I've got kind of a rack from a uh, food dehydrator. Uh, you could just set these on sheets of newspaper and let them dry out overnight uh, if you have a dry area. If you want them to dry in a couple hours, put them in a food dehydrator and they'll dry in a couple hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to demold the blocks and let's see, uh, let's see how we did here. It looks like they, uh, they did pretty good. Uh, we do have a few bubbles, but let me see if I can get up close here. That's how these blocks look on both sides. So it looks like we didn't really get very many air bubbles. Uh, and you saw how thick that was pouring it in and smacking it down. Now, if you were doing a mold that was similar to number 85 or 58 or some of the uh, ones that have uh, uh, lots of small details like books and dishes and those you probably could not get out using regular plaster of Paris. Those you would have to use the dental stone. But any of these that are basic blocks like this, uh, regular plaster of Paris will work for a school project or for a one-time project where you don't want to spend a lot of money and it's not going to be around for a long time. However, if you're going to use something that's going to be for a, a dungeon that you're going to pack up and take somewhere, uh, those sorts of things, then you really need to use dental stone or hydra stone or hydra cal or some material that's stronger than regular plaster of Paris. Now after you pop these blocks out like this, you're going to have a little bit of residual stuff on the mold. You see that on the face of the mold? That's just dried plaster. You don't have to wash the mold. Just simply take and rub your hand along the surface of the mold. And these molds are tough. They'll take it. So just rub that stuff off and pretty much that's, that's it. You know, the mold is ready to be cast again. One last thing, you can also reuse these plastic cups. Uh, what you do is, if this is set for about 25 minutes and you pop the blocks out, just sort of pinch this together and you'll be able to uh, just kind of knock that extra plastic out. You may have to run your hand along the inside, but you can reuse the same plastic cup, you know, probably four times at least before it gets scratched up and the plastic uh, plaster doesn't come out.